Uh, I was born in Philadelphia into a musical family. Everyone in my family, all my uncles were musicians. My father, my mother was a singer, my sister was a pianist, went to Curtis Institute and studied with uh, Sirkin there and, and uh, Mr. Drake. Uh, I personally came through playing uh, by osmosis. I watched what my dad did and my sister and by seven, I was doing something on a musical instrument and that instrument happened to be uh, kind of the piano and the accordion at the same time. I came up playing uh, through that period in bars and matter of fact, one of the great thrills, I played in a band called the Three Sharps and the Flat and the, we were the lull band for Daisy Mayer and her Hepcats. And <laughs> in that band, John Coltrane, whenever he would leave Miles Davis, would join her. And he was, uh, we did two weekends and uh, I got to know him fairly well. He was uh, very spiritual and enlightened a lot of my decisions. In the early 60s, I wound up with a band and working in this band in um, Cherry Hill, New Jersey, the Quincy Jones Band came back from Europe. They did free and easy there for a while and they were working at a place called the Cherry Hill Inn. And uh, Oliver Nelson could not make the job. So Phil Woods had heard that I could play and uh, said, come on by, and I left my gig and went and played there. Uh, that was a great experience to be with Saeed Shab and Phil Woods and uh, Gene Quill. Uh, there was a, a, no, it wasn't, it was Gene Quill. I'm trying to think who the other saxophone, Jerome Richardson. So uh, it was quite a sax section and quite a band. Jimmy Nottingham and Bernie Glow, it was like, the legends that I would be listening to on records and here I am, you know, 20 years old or 19, whatever I was at the time, playing with them. He said, you know, I hear there's an audition in Philadelphia for a show called The Mike Douglas Show and uh, you should go down. I said, man, it's my hometown. I, you know, I wanna be there. So uh, I went down and um, brought all my artillery, my tenor, my soprano, my clarinet, my flute, and my bassoon and showed up. The first arrangement I ever had to do for Mike was on a tune from the fantastic Soon It's Gonna Rain. And um, I used, a, a, in the, all through the tune, it's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring kind of motif all the way through. So um, it got a little excitement. So I did that and uh, then Ellie just got fed up with trying to conduct a band. And it was a small band as Peter mentioned. And during that period is when Peter came with the singer he mentioned, which was Della Reese. And I still use Della Reese's apple pie recipe when I make apple pie. I used to do things like on the same changes that I just finished. So it was things I would do, but I'm not doing this just to say that the only chance I get to do this is usually like 11 o'clock at night or six o'clock in the morning, and I'm always afraid I'm gonna bother somebody in the Agora area. Oh, questions, yeah. I, questions is where I should have started from the beginning. If not, I again, thank you all and uh, I appreciate it.